Hi guys, Sam from Warp Gate Studios. Hope you're doing well. Um, today, I'm really, really privileged to be able to interview two people that are uh, pushing this industry at the moment with their new products. So um, without further ado, I want to introduce Duncan and Roger. I've interviewed them separately from Two Thin Coats um, and wanted to ask them some pretty good questions. So uh, yeah, enjoy and uh, and I'll put a link to their new Kickstarter at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. So Duncan, tell me, like, one of my burning questions that I've, I've wanted to ask you for a long, long time is how do you keep motivated with your painting continuously <laughs> um, over the years? Because obviously you've probably painted more than a lot of other people. Mm. How do you do it? Um, it's a very, very good, good question. Uh, I suppose the answer is I'm quite mad. Uh, as, as Roger would explain back in uh, when we were at Games Workshop, um, I'd arrive early because I was a very nervous driver, so I wanted to avoid the traffic, and I had some time to kill. So I'd paint some stuff, and then you know Roger would arrive, we'd start work, and I'd be painting. Then lunchtime would come along, it's like, oh, I'll just do a little bit more on what I'd started at the start of the day, and then we'd do the afternoon. Then I'd go home and oh, I might as well finish what I started, so I'd do some more painting. So just doing it all the time. It's just because I really enjoy it. I find it very therapeutic, you know, very relaxing. And it's also satisfying when you finish something like, you know, you're working on an army and you finish the next unit or uh, model or special weapon, whatever, add it to the rest of the collection. So it was really nice. Like, yeah, I completed the new thing. Awesome. So, yeah. so um, and I know I've seen that you are big in your reenactment side of things to, to escape for a little bit. <laughs> yes. Is there anything else you do? Um, not particularly, no. I mean, the reenactment thing I actually started doing, um, partially because I was interested in the history, you know, I wanted to live it a bit more and see what it was, you know, get a little glimpse of what it might have been like. I, don't, I suppose it's impossible to actually understand what it's like. Um, but uh, yeah, it was to have another hobby that wasn't related to my work in any particular way. Um, and then it turns out that about half the group I was in were hobbyists. And we're like, Duncan Rhodes is in our reenactment group. <laughs> And uh, that was a that was another experience. Like, oh, all right, what, what's your favourite Space Marines? You know. <laughs> yeah. So is it and it, is it just Napoleonics you do, or is there any other reenactment you've got involved For in? Reenactment is just Napoleonics. Okay. I, I dabbled a bit with Wars of the Roses, but I'm okay. much more interested in Napoleonic history. Well, I have got friends that do American Civil War reenactment oh. over here in the states. So if you are ever interested, next time you're over donning <laughs> donning some navy blue or some Confederate grey, jump in the line. Yes. Would you believe in the UK there are reenactors who do American oh, Civil War? I know. <laughs> There's some crazy stuff back in the UK, but um, but yeah, it's, it's it's fascinating to find out really what sort of what motivates you. And I just wanted to say, um, with regard to the paints that you guys are creating, you and Roger, um, I'm I'm very very impressed. And and the stuff that I've worked with, I enjoy, and I'm I'm glad to see your Kickstarter's going so well as well at the moment. Oh, thanks so much. It's um it was terrifying doing all these uh, Kickstarters with paints and things. You know, it's a uh, um, before it goes live, you don't know how it's going to do, and you question things and like, you know, have we have we done it right? Is it going to be okay? And we put a lot of work into it, so you have to reassure yourself of like you've tried your best, you tried to make the best quality thing that you can, um, see what happens. So it's a shock then when you see so many people just suddenly jump in and commit to support it. It's really humbling. Really yeah, humbling. I, I I love it the fact that you guys created a new product that is now being seen alongside mm -hmm. the big guys of Vallejo. Um, and pro our crew and those sort of things. It's crazy, man. <laughs> well, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's good for you guys because obviously you have had so much input in creation of a product that you're going to be using on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and obviously people seeing that being used by you have the confidence in going out and it's probably helped the Kickstarter as well because they, if they're seeing you using it, they're like, hey, I can replicate that yeah. pretty quick. Yeah, well, that's what we want people to do. And it, it kind of leads back to what you're asking about the motivation for things. You know, the, um, the motivation with the paint is that you want to, um, as you get more experience using different brands, you start to see um, different traits of different paints. You start to work out what you like and what feels good to you. So with these paints, what we wanted to do is embrace like what I particularly look for in paint, and that's resulted in the, the standard that they are. Um, but this is the same with the painting videos. One of the things that really motivates me with those is I really want people to be able to achieve the results that they dream of having. Um, because I, it's really sad if someone wants to, um, they see a big miniature that they absolutely love, you know, and they want to, um, they want to get it. It's a lot of money, but they think to themselves, I'm just going to ruin it. So they never do. And it's, um, I, 
I say it's just really kind of sad and I want people to feel like they can do it. Um, so the motivation with the videos is to make them as clear and uh, you know, explanatory as possible so that people can actually literally copy what you say and get the same result. And it is magic when you see someone who's done it. Like you meet somebody like around an event like this and they've painted Magnus the Red following our videos and their model looks like the one we did. Yeah. It's like, that's, in, that's incredible. So that's a really powerful motivation. And it's the same with the paints because now we're meeting people who have been, they, they back the Kickstarter, they have them and they've been using them and they tell us these are wonderful, I love them. It's like, yeah. oh, that's great. It's, it, it sort of leans into the same thing of like, people are enjoying their hobby because of that. Um, and it's just a really wonderful feeling. Yeah, it's great. I, I, I love the, the story of you, you and Roger and everything that you're doing. And I really do hope there's continued success for you guys. And I, I really do hope that it also pushes other manufacturers in the industry to strive to keep on improving their product. Well, the competition's good. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and again, the accessibility that you're creating for people to be able to jump into the hobby and, and, uh, and create awesome looking models is wonderful. It's a hobby that we all love and, and we're all part of. So, mm. so thank you from all of us painters and uh, we appreciate it. Well, thank you and thank you to everybody who's uh, supported us along the way. Awesome. Well, if uh, uh, is there any last bits you want to tell people about the Kickstarter? Because I know that I think you've got two weeks hmm. left of it on it to go. What sort? Of, what can we look forward to with stre other stretch goals? Is there anything oh, on your sleeves? I wouldn't got? want to spoil the surprise. Okay. At the time we're recording this, it's a, it's a really exciting one about to be announced, okay. which is really cool. It's something that um, Roger and I commissioned as a part of it, so okay. we can't wait for people to see that. Awesome. Um, it's a. Uh, I think. This is a it's a good opportunity to basically get all the paints at a discount. So if someone's interested in them and they want to get the set, this is a good thing to go for. And you can also get the Wave 1 set too. Yep. So if you missed out on that, you can grab that as well. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Have you enjoyed LVO so far? It's been great. Yeah. <laughs> it's fascinating. This convention center is huge as well. Yeah. I did not expect that. I thought it would be smaller than Adepticon. But it's, it's bigger. <laughs> it takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to walk to the lobby from here. Yeah. And then another of that to get to my room. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Well, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. And uh, we look forward to seeing what you guys come up with in the future. Thank you. So here we are, Roger. Um, thanks for joining us. Really appreciate you sitting down with me. Um, tell us about your, your Kickstarter first of all. So um, we launched the first Kickstarter a while back, and it was it went way above what we thought. You know, we were like quite nervous about it, and it's as people know, it went really well. Um, and we relaunched our first sixty paints, and we decided with along with the guys at Transatlantic Games, we wanted to do another sixty paints because when you got sixty paints, there's only so much you can do. So the first one we chose the most common colors we could possibly use in what we do. The next 60 was like, this is our full wish list of 120. So yeah, the second Kickstarter is about filling out that list and creating 120. Awesome. And how's it going so far? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did have a quick look and the Kickstarter seems to have fully funded and it's it's rolling nicely yeah. along like the first one did. I think it's 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 humbling experience for us that people believe in a project so much, you know, and um. You know, we, we work quite hard at getting the paints to where we want them to be. And the fact that people are willing to spend their hard-earned money in, in a project to, to support us and to back it is, you know, it's, it's overwhelming and humbling at the same time. And yeah. very thankful. I, I know from experience of talking to so many people around the world, the, the catchment of your of people that are using your paints is literally all around the world. Now. Yes, yeah, it's growing all over, yeah. which is great. You just want to get it in people's hands and let them try it. Awesome. And, and decide for themselves if they want to keep using it or not. You know? and, and so tell me, with, with regard to the, the research and development of the paints, uh, what kind of pushed you into making your own paints and, and making them different from all the other competitors out there? Um, we got approached by a, a company called Transatlantis Games, which are based in the US and in the UK. Um, and it's run by a veteran of the industry, Bob Watts. And... He approached us to say, do you, do you want to, can we license you guys to make a brand of paint? So we were like, we thought about it for a while and he came with a proposal. We went, yes, we will we'll do that. Um, but providing that we can, we don't just want paints off the shelf and you slap our ba a badge on it or a sticker on it and say, Duncan Rose paints. Um, it had to be what we kind of want from a set of paints and what we think make a really good set of paints. And so we had free reign to do whatever we wanted to make the best, best set of paints we could. Awesome. And, and uh, obviously, the, this second Kickstarter looks like it's successful. Are, are you planning any more? Um, not at the moment, but 
there's whispers. Okay. Yeah, awesome. it's just you know, it's we want to just get it in stores and yeah. um, in on the internet, internet shops and whatever out there as much as possible. Awesome. And okay. getting people's hands really. Yeah. And then, uh, are there any plans for kind of um, any other types of paints? At the moment, you've got um, a, a slight with the new Kickstarter, some sort of weathering paints and those sorts of things that are stretch goals. Um, is there any uh, kind of push towards texture paints or? Um, any other types of weathering paints like moss and, and those sorts of things? Um, not at not at the moment because there's some companies out there that specialize in that kind of stuff and they they do it phenomenally well. Yeah. You know, so um, saying that, who knows? Yeah. Um, we've had a few people ask us if we're going to do stuff like express color or um contrast paints and things yeah. like that. And you know, um, if people want it, it's something we might look at. We just got to find something that makes it different. You got to look at what those other paints yeah. do and. You know, and what you want, what you want, or what you want that specific paint to do, and then you've got to just develop it that way. And, and so, what's the process when when you and Duncan sit down with the paints? Uh, what sort of uh, testing process do you do with these paints before you're happy with them? Um, so, the laboratory that sends us the paints, they'll send us a, what they call a base, which is colorless paint, almost like a medium. Okay. So that's the base, and then they'll add all the color into it and leveling agents and stuff like that. And they'll send you a variety and basically you just test it and go, I like that one. And then um, they'll stick color in it. Then you try it again. Cause when you add pigments in it, it becomes a process. Like it might smell a bit because of the different pigments in there. So they've got to add a deodorizer okay. in there and all this sort of stuff. And um, we might just go and we want it smoother, you know? So um, one of the things we really push for was having really smooth paint. And if you've used the stuff, you'll know that's like the leveling agent in there is phenomenally yeah. high. And it's, it's one of the most expensive parts of, of the paint is a leveling agent. Um, the percentage is very high compared to most out there. And, and what about primers and those sorts of things? Can propellant-based paints, is that something that you guys might look at in the future? Um, I'd like to, yeah. but the problem with doing primers at the moment is just shipping them around the world because they, they, they're volatile products. Yeah. Um, so you, you've got to have a look at can you actually get this stuff out there. Do you, do you test your your paints on different primers like Cry, uh, Krylon, uh, Army Paint, uh, GW stuff? Do you um, get a set of different primers and we, test we, them out? We do have a set of primers that we use. Um, so we'll we got basically we always te we we'll test it on a grey, a black, and a white, okay. um, and then we just you know we we'll just paint just literally paint miniatures yeah. and see how they go. Make notes and go. Oh, we we don't like this color. Can you make it a bit more vibrant, or can you pull a bit more pigment out, or? You know, can you make a little, a little red, a little tint of orange in there or yeah. something like that, you know? Okay, and then uh, as far as, as going forward with these paints, um, do you see uh, in the next sort of two, three years, um, is, 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 I know we've talked about it beforehand, um, you're, you're kind of licensed in with Kickstarter um, and Transatlantic Games sort of part on that side of things. Yeah. Um, is there any other peripheral stuff that you're thinking that's going to go alongside your paints that you might look at releasing? We'd like to. Okay. Um, it's just we just want to get the paints. Once you can establish your network of getting them out there in people's hands, yeah. you know that's the real hard job done. After that, you can start to roll the other stuff out along with awesome. it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for spending Anytime. five minutes talking with me. No worries. Thanks again to Roger and Duncan for their time while we were at LVO. Um, great sitting down with them, really appreciate it. Uh, here is the link to their Kickstarter that's currently running and also their website. So go and check them both out. Really, really good paints, uh, highly recommended. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll try and do some more in the future. Cheers.